So apparently Fogdad took offense to that other video. You guys are telling me to watch this video. A couple of days ago, I apparently did a get spicy. video about Fogden, going into why I believe that he is one of the most hated YouTubers in the YouTube space. In this video, he I remained impartial as I showed both sides to the argument of why people may not like him, is, and I backed him on many of these cases. The salient point of this video was to start a discussion of my own personal reasons why I believe that he I is a like hater, and that marks of jealousy is the reason why he is so discussed online in a negative light. Since the publication of this video, Field himself has reached out to me least. saying great video and saying that he thanks me for being balanced. Alongside that, commented on my video, which I did I pin, which balanced. has now been deleted, saying the same Boring things, that it's a great that. video, thank you for being balanced, and that he's gonna take the criticisms no, like that people have said in the video, my or myself, and, and my will thoughts. work on forming that into his own content and to become a better person. But sadly, Fog Dad's views is very much Wait, different. Fog Contacting me on Twitter and calling me every name under the sun and declaring my video a hit piece. And he gave me seven questions to explain myself in which I would do my part I mean, and explain piece, those seven it? questions that he asked me in this video. To also it was clarify- more of a thought provoking video from Vizzo, which I liked. It like, for me anyway, it made me think, why is Thogden so hated? Why are people hating on him? And then I explained my reasons why I don't think you guys should hate on him. I contacted both Theo and Steven involved, and that I reached out, Steven. I gave them both my number because I wanted to resolve this that privately. Must also add that I don't think Thogden wants me or his dad to go at each other. And I don't think that he, from my own personal opinion, agrees with what his dad is doing just because of okay, the massive yeah. contrast between his response and his own dad's. This is purely only with Stephen Fogdad himself, in which when Steven. I give him my number, he completely denied like and Steven. is threatening to slander me on a publication Steven. that he yeah. is going to be doing. Steven. Before I go into it, that I find the comments that he says to me and my family, including my daughter, very much revolting and what? his entire demeanor especially at the end of it comes across incredibly patronizing and even though i do respect that he is a father and that he no, is what is going on i thought we just reacted to a video explaining why people hate on him why some people dislike him I'm trying to explain to you guys the reasoning behind one group of people's thoughts and why he might feel aggrieved why is he talking about his family to protect his son i think that he is massively massively misjudged the purpose and the actual substance of the video. I am here to say categorically that the video is not a hit piece. Every content creator or yeah. viewer that I have spoken to about this video actually says to me that they think I was in fact too kind. I must say that I do not condone anyone going over to Fogdad and giving him any stick any anything after this guys this is why you can never win on the internet bro you can never win on the internet someone's always gonna hate on you the conclusion that i got from the other videos everyone's gonna hate on you no matter what so yeah so there you go that is the context behind this video <laughs> now, put a disclaimer <laughs> first two minutes cool he's had to put a and already. the message from fog dad nice. now of course this is dms i'm just closing some of these dms as i do believe it, it is relevant some parts of it is not however a lot of it is very much just obscene important context to add to this day afterwards feel obscene. reached out to me himself saying great video this is what feel said i responded back to my video well, saying your mate i dropped a full message yes, on well. twitter but i know i haven't messaged you in a while on there laughing emoji i said you didn't think i'd do a full-on hit piece on you did you he said of course lad i knew you wouldn't they're so good we spoke about Burnley being in the championship doing well. Then I said it should no longer be hidden, lad. He said thanks. That was my conversation with Theo if, if straight after the day afterwards. Yeah, I no, thought that it. it's no, fine. He, his, he saw yeah, it as balanced. Great I'll video. Not a hit piece. His dad, very much different. Again, as a reminder of why I'm doing this, Fog Dad is threatening to slander me in a publication that he's releasing. So I have a Wait. right to reply whoa, whoa, to slander me. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is why he's leaking DMs. Guys, what's going on with the world? Very much different. Again, as a reminder of why I'm doing this, Fog Dad is threatening to slander me in a publication that he's releasing. So I have a right to reply back to this in my own way because if he goes on there and slanders me in the way that I believe he will, then that will be a massive problem. Is he threatening legal action? Defamation? So, he DMs me 
from his official Twitter to confirm. There you go. We can no, prove it right there. He still note. follows me. For now, probably not for long, I guess, but, you know, because of the length of this, I want to split it into four different parts. So, part one. Yo, you were, you I saw your video about you feel and I found serious. it vile. It paints you as an unpleasant, jealous, bitter, deceitful person and someone lacking in self-confidence and integrity. Theo and I are used to the occasional vileness on social media, but this hatchet job surprised me given your social media following. I am saddened that Theo's mother, my wife, had to be subjected to this bile too. Wait, so, incredible so starting point video. to this message. Um, I don't even know what to say about to this, really. For anyone that's, that's seen my video... Imagine. Please, I, I do recommend, I insist, if you have not seen it, to watch it the entire way through. I don't know where this has come from. I, I really don't. This is the next part of it, which I don't think is really that relevant at all. However, I want to add a sin there, saying about, you know, that he should, that I've also received comments um, about me and my wife, which... Low Point was probably quoting, and I therefore take yourself down the level of Twitter trolls. This surprised me as one, I'm sure you've had unpleasantness aimed at you by trolls and your spouse. And two, I know that sections of the Bernie FC faithful dislike you. I won't be responding publicly and immediately as this was probably the aim of your trolling. However, I will be commenting on the subject. What? He did show the trolls on Twitter to show how vile it was against your son. To make people realise, like, oh, Jesus Christ, people are taking it too far. It's exactly how I reacted. I know sections of the Burnley FC faithful dislike you. Yeah, because he said he does vlogs at games as well. And he said he gets why people dislike it. And then he explained why people do it. I'll be commenting, though. That's, that's some serious work. Again, wording. my wife isn't involved. And I know that sections of Burnley FC faithful dislike you. Again, not relevant to this whatsoever. Now, the next part of it, I'm going to be legal reasons I'm going to leave it out. Yo, 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 Not really. I heard what you just said. Listen to this whatsoever. Now, the next part of it, I'm going to be leaving out because it may involve something that he will not want to be out publicly. So, for legal reasons, I'm going to leave it out. In the next part, he says that he's going to be using my video in a part of a publication. Using me and my video as a case study for some... We need to delete the video, guys. Guys, end stream, end stream, end stream, end stream. Something that he says, and I quote, as oh, jealousy slash hate slash trolling Ooh. part three is that he gives me seven questions so i shall go through these questions as he asks so question one please comment no, on what i am have... just watching the video that's not really a question um but i'm very no, much this is, actually... this is no, not this a is hit piece serious, and right? you're massively blowing this out of proportion question two your video is sponsored but you criticize feel for taking sponsorship please comment I mean, not once him. in the entire video did i critique him for having a sponsorship. Also, I believe also said that I do not blame him for taking any of these opportunities. That's what I said, guys. I said, taking crypto sponsors is one thing. Taking crypto sponsors like Speed did, in my eyes, is completely, completely wrong. Taking a crypto sponsor from an exchange, I know it's not the most well thought of exchange, crypto.com, but it's a reputable business. It's a reputable enough. I don't think crypto is the exact same as gambling, personally. I don't, and I don't agree with gambling sponsors, but that's that's just my two cents. Buy the likes of Sky Sports or buy the likes of Crypto.com in the World Cup. Not once did I critique him at all. Next up is question three like and question four, as they are both linked in their own way. So question three: Do you regret quoting a Twitter troll that wanted to feel murdered in Qatar? Now, of course, this is early in the video, which I was simply adding context to the title and the actual concept of the video in which i perceive fogden as the most hated football youtuber so of course when you're making a video like that you've got to contextualize it and show proof show people's opinions on oh, the person really, involved really in the video him, which of he's, course is fogden of course he's rightly like stressed right now this is some serious stuff guys question one please comment on what i've said above Question two, your video is sponsored, but you criticize Theo for taking sponsorships. Please comment. Question three, do you regret quoting a troll from Twitter that wanted Theo murdered in Qatar? Question four, are you projecting your own feelings about Theo by quoting these tweets? Of course, it's absolutely disgusting, and I do not condone that in any way. I don't think I need to really say that, that I don't believe that's what I want to happen. As you say in question four, you add, are you projecting your own feelings about feel by quoting this tweet? The tweet involved is about feel being murdered and beheaded. Jesus. I got to really 
emphasize this because, you know, Maybe you delete it I don't think that. I need to, but I don't want Fogden dead. It's simply me no, just quoting ridiculous. a tweet. I didn't add anything to it. I just said it to add context to yeah, the context like I said, of it, the video. It just gave, it By, gave you an idea of people, the amount of hate that he gets. And I understand why Folk Dad is very sensitive on that topic because that is disgusting, completely out of order. Twitter trolls, I mean, they can go crazy. And especially when you're in a foreign country and you're seeing things like that, you would be scared. In no means do I actually want Field to get beheaded and his head being fed to a camel. I didn't think I needed to say this. Question I mean, five yeah, being what causes a moderately successful YouTuber to make a video like this about a more successful YouTuber. <laughs> you can read this in whatever way you so wish, looking down on me or maybe mocking my channel size. I read it and I'm going to answer the way that he's asked it. The reason why I did the video is because I saw a lot of people with unjustified hate towards Fogden, I do believe, and I, I still think, believe yeah, now that he is overhated. To... It's exactly what I said again earlier. He's trying to start a discussion. It's a thought-provoking video because a lot of the times like, I'll, I'll scroll through, you see it, someone's shitting on Fog to you. <laughs> I think this video helped us realize, guys, I was scrolling through that. I think, like, before you laugh, it, that someone's at the end of it. I think that's what his video helped me realize even more. Something that I did know already, but something now that I'm going to think about a bit more. Just to say, I, would, I never liked something about saying he should be attacked, murdered, or anything like that, obviously. That is disgusting. And I thought that it was an interesting topic to cover. I don't believe that YouTubers particularly are, um, I, I don't think they should be protected completely. I think that when they do things that deserve to be called out, you can Got to start a dialogue like, oh, because, you know, there are people in the scene who don't say what they really think. By the way, again, you may forget, my video isn't really going into him that badly. I showcase some things that he's made some mistakes, for example, the Newcastle thumbnail and title, yeah. that I believe you that he's learned from it. it. That's what I said thing, in terms of his so comments on the podcast with the fellas. I did say that he stand out as a touch and I highlighted the reason of why he stand out as a touch and I hope that he learns in the future. This is a video to start a dialogue which hopefully feel or yourself, Stephen, can watch and maybe take some advice from this. Criticism is... I get that. I, I get why he can, he can look at him and say, look, why is a moderately successful YouTuber trying to tell my son how to behave? I can get why that could annoy him however you see fit but i believe that this is constructive in a way because i'm yeah, showcasing why people may not like your content or, or your your personalities needed. and maybe in a way you can learn from this by seeing what the community thinks about you and then becoming better content creators or adapting your content in any way i just think that the community is much more fairer and honest with each other in this way so that's why i did the video question six you invited theo and i to your wedding a few months ago Please confirm. I did. Do you have any feelings about your video in relation to this invitation? Oh, he's getting personal. Again, I don't really he understand the reach here. Um, I did invite Theo and Fog Dad because you know, I have respect for them, as I've said before. They, of course, couldn't make it, which is completely fine. I think he's trying to say that because they didn't come to my wedding that I hold some sort of grudge to them. I don't. I don't really see why this is relevant. This is when it gets yeah, bad. Yeah. This is really oh the God. reason why I'm doing this video. Question seven. Oh God, hold on. What does this say? Question seven. You're a father. Are you proud of your vindictiveness? And will you be encouraging your... Yo, what the hell? To emulate no. you in later life. Nah, bro. I don't know what my daughter, my one-year-old daughter, nah, has bro. got to do with this. I mean, maybe you may see as a link. What has that got to do with anything? You can tell at this point he's just heated. Surely he doesn't mean that because that's just pure waffle. I think that, you know, I'm on about your son. So you think children are fair game, but I do think there's a difference between a 21 year old man who is in the public eye and works on Sky Sports. I think he is a big boy. He can hold his own opinions as he has, as he's responded back to me in a professional and fair and adult like manner. No, but I just. The more that I see, like, you look at this, and this this is it's kind of someone having a meltdown. I just think, in in general, it just go, he's obviously frustrated. This has really triggered him. I think he thinks from Viz's video, he's going to get even more hate. And that probably shows all of you guys watching right now how threatened he can feel by some of you guys trolling on Twitter. He's probably seeing his video thinking, oh my God, me and my family, we're going to get personally attacked. We're going to get robbed. We're going to get 
beaten. Like these are things that people are typing that could happen. And if someone sees a video with someone with influence, you might think it's a possibility. This to me, he's, he's, he's shaking. And so I, I don't know why you're bringing my daughter into this, really. Um, it's and, not, it's uh, really a low what he, blow. Not what he means. Really, because oh, again, like a lovely guy. I didn't come at you. I truly believe that you did not watch my video. And you just saw a title in the first 30 seconds. Because I, I really do not understand where this has come from. And then there's the ending of it. Saying... I also ask permission to include a link to your video in its publication. This should earn you a few more shekels in income from YouTube and your sponsors. Regards, Stephen. As a person who gets criticized quite often for being a Tory, being a an ex-conservative counsellor. That is potentially the most patronising, most... You know how I read that? I read that as, like, a person who is looking down on a peasant. I see I read it like that. I read him as him looking down on me. Looking down on me. Mm. Like, I'll throw your your video I, I into, you know, into my I, thing. I, I get what this should only a few pennies. I think it's more the fact that he's... Because this, to me, just it, this just seems old. Like waffle. Like so, so, so would say when they're angry, but they they just don't know Peasant. what they're saying. This really is me off. If it wasn't for this last comment, fuck that, I would not have done this video. Even you bringing my chat involved about. Wait, let's analyze this a bit more. I ask for your permission to include a link to your video. This should earn you a few more shekels in your income, in income from YouTube and your sponsors. I think it's just spiteful, to be honest. I think he's just bitter, and that's just a final at the end of the message. Uh, I, mean, like, I, I guess I would, yeah, I guess that would annoy you. To me, which literally, again, my video wasn't bad in any way. That last comment is really f me off, Stephen, because it shows what kind of person you are. It comes across as a person looking down on people. It's just no need. It's just no need. It really, and it comes across awfully. You really got to learn to take criticism. And even if it isn't that bad of a critique, you need to learn to just to, to, to take it. I you need to learn to take it because you're a big boy. This isn't your first rodeo. You know, you're a smart man. I don't understand what you're doing responding like this. So that is what Fog Dad has said to me and my response back to it. I reached out to both no Theo way, and also to no Fog Dad with my phone number and wanting to resolve it that night in which Fog Dad did get back to me with a response, which I'm not going to go into it completely fully. Just basically him um, sit, refusing to talk to me. Here we go. I've congratulated him for not stooping to your level of unpleasantness. Obviously, I watched the whole piece as I referred to several parts of the video above. It wasn't well-intentioned or objective. It was intended to highlight some negatives of them and get out the public domain. That's why I think... Th this is Guys, I predicted this. I said that this is what Fogdad took it as. I mean, it's kind of obvious when he said he thought it was a hit piece, but, you know, <laughs> I thought it was a genius then. There is a bunch of fiction in there. There's a bunch of fiction in there, and things were and things were there, but you didn't seek comment from either of us at any point. The low point was quoting and giving credence publicity oxygen to the troll. Even a YouTube comment as well, completely sarcastic as well, saying great video, and they're going to move on with this video sarcastic. and learn from it. Um, that's all a lie, apparently, according to Fog Dad. It is also fair to add that Theo has said to me... This is what I could tell from the start. Theo is a good guy. Theo is a good guy. Fog Dad, I think, is a good guy. Visa is a good guy. It's an awful misunderstanding. That People, apparently I didn't realise it's this deep. People are actually... ...has been struggling in the last couple of days yeah. because of the video. So, for my reasons that I've said in this video, I don't understand Real why he is so um, hurt by this. Again, as, as I said, I insist on This is what I said. It. I feel like it's more fog dad. He must have seen the reaction online, because this is a bit old now, isn't it? He must have seen the reaction online and he can't really compute what's gone on. Because he was filled with anger. People are then saying, what the hell is all this about? Going back at him. And he's like, oh, whoa, well, hold on. He's in the wrong. I think time will be a healer. A video. If you think I've been really unfair, then tell me down below in the comments. But I really don't understand why this has hit him so hard. Maybe he's trying to make me feel guilty. Of course, I cannot say that if he is really hurt or not. Of course, I can't. But I will say that the comments that he said to me involving also my daughter and the way that he's patronized me at the end of that sentence really does me off to so steven if you're watching this i really urge you to learn to handle any sort of critique from anyone even if the video is 
even mildly critical. I hope this reaches you in the right way. Yeah, I hope that we can still be civil to this video. I still hold no ill feelings to you or your son. And just to add in as well, this morning, the time of recording, I did reach out yet again to Steven to ask what he like to call. Maybe after a night's sleep, maybe he could rethink it through. Good morning, Steven. I hope that after a night's sleep, you favor in having in that chat. I want to give you the opportunity again. I believe your emotional relationships have blinded your thinking. Seeing things had a hit piece when it's not. I'm here to help you. If you intend on slandering me in your publication, I have to defend myself. Yeah, fair. Through and to sort this problem. I mean, yeah, if you were angry and you got this, and <laughs> you got this message. Good morning, Stephen. I hope after a good night's sleep, you're in favour of having that call. <laughs> Privately, and he has yeah, he's, ignored he's it. So, he's to be I tried again. So, I will end it with this. If you, Fog Dad, publicly apologises to me on your Twitter or your Instagram, or no matter where you see it, I don't care which platform, you apologise for the comments that you made about me, and you apologise for yourself completely hyperbolically yeah, yeah. blowing this out of proportion you apologize I mean, just, for that i mean then, you don't need a oh, i don't know does he need a public because he's kind of outed him publicly he's outed this publicly so he needs to he does kind of need to clear his name publicly i mean i would apology, easily take this face to down, face so I, I think happily the best way. as long as whatever i say is not being used in your publication because that's the entire reason behind this so if i do receive that apology i will happily take this video down and then we can both be civil about it and hopefully move on. I was going to say, should we check to see people. if he's done an apology? So, but I guess not. Thank you for watching and have a great day, boys.